Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to export MySQL table data to CSV file by using Workbench. So let's go to the uh, Windows machine where we have installed the Workbench and uh, I'm going to connect to my SQL server that I have installed on Linux. I have uh, multiple uh, MySQL servers installed on different machines and I'm connecting to one of them. Um, I have shown you in the previous video how to create multiple uh, connections. Uh, okay, here we have uh, different schemas or databases. Uh, one of them is called Tech Brothers uh, and it has uh, uh, different tables. Uh, so, but in uh, my case, it looks like it has only one table. Uh, right click on that one, just inspect some uh, data, how it looks like. So, we have ID, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address. Um, looks great. And we would like to export this data to CSV file. Right click on the table and then you are going to go to the and table that I export wizard and here you will select some options okay this is our source tech browser it dot employee that's our table select all or deselect all entries so I'm gonna select all but I might just leave IP out I don't need it okay great and then you can go to advance if you want to write your custom queries of where you want to have a where clause maybe you would have uh, as or some or aggregation in the query and then run that query and export the results so, so this is the right way so run your query first here in a uh, query window experiment it it runs fine then come to the export and just paste it here and uh, refresh so that should do it uh, a little help and now we go to the okay columns are here in our case i'm going to leave these default uh, hit next and uh, we have two options um, we have csv file and json i have created a, a video for json how to create a json file from uh, um, my sql table to the uh, json so you can watch that video here uh, we are playing with the csv so we have different options we have line separator line feed uh, carriage return carriage return line feed so you have different options available whatever you would like to have for your line separator if you would like to enclose uh, the data with double quotes around here you have it you can uh, if you want to put something different you can type it and here you have line separator so i'm in my case i'm going to just leave this one as it is but you have a uh, uh, colons you have a uh, pipe sign you have a tab and whatever and also you can probably type uh, no, this one is not letting you type so just to let you know so this is a not letting you type but here you can type okay so what we are going to do we are going to leave this one as it is now we have export to the local machine yes we would like to export to the local machine and here i would like to provide the path so i'm going to go ahead and to the desktop here and i'm going to write my employee uh, export that's the name i have given to this file save you can see that this is csv file this is the location we have selected the options so this gives you a variety of options when you are creating the csv file because so you will be asked uh, to create different uh, CSV files with different format, uh, formats or uh, options. Uh, most of the time we have seen with the tab delimited or we have a pipe delimited and all that. Okay, great. Looks good. Hit next. And now we are preparing for export. Great. And finish. A thousand rows are exported really quick. Let's go to the file here on desktop that's created. And uh, this file looks so beautiful. I'm just kidding. It's hard to read this file. So if you read this file in Notepad, this is how it is going to look like. But we have option to read this file in Excel. So CSV files are really good to read in Excel and show you the right data here. So I'm going to paste it here in uh, one of the uh, folder here. And now csv file okay right there double click and open it i was uh, one of the thing i would say oh notepad was uh, not that great so now excel but yes in excel it uh, put each line on each of the uh, row that looks fine but uh, i would like to see as a columns uh, so what you need to do you need to go to data here and then uh, you need to go to the text to columns um, if we would have comma separated here uh, between the id and columns it would have done uh, separation for us uh, for the columns right away but let's say our requirement was to use uh, this terminator here so that's why we use it it's fine not a big deal but we can uh, uh, pass this uh, into the text to the column go to the text first you go to the data tab on this one go to the text to the columns and here is the delimited file yes correct i'm gonna hit next okay text qualifier double quotes fine and uh, here is uh, your where you see other okay it's not a tab so i'm going to put uh, this uh, terminator okay now when you have this uh, character comes there 
is it looks all good hit next and uh, you're gonna finish it and now look at this beautiful CSV file okay so you have ID first name last name email and gender looks awesome CSV file you can save it now if you want and it is a different uh, yes save as or whatever and uh, that will work for you you can send to your um, clients or you can do someone else's by yourself um, I hope my videos uh, are helpful if you like my videos I will say go ahead and subscribe it it will help uh, thanks